Hey there, this is René Molina for GNS Trivolt and I want to show you how to solve the MQC QoS uh, pre-classify lab. So what are we going to do here? Um, the idea behind this lab is that I'm going to create a, a GRE tunnel between router Talit and router Marvin and then I'm going to send traffic from the loopback of router Kenton uh, and the traffic from the loopback of router Finn through the GRE tunnel um, that we just created. And then we're going to see uh, how this will affect our quality of service. Um, okay, so let me just show you how to do this. Uh, first of all, we are going to configure a GRE tunnel. And before I do so, I need to make sure that we have some routing. Because there is no routing protocol at the moment. So let me just enable OSPF. Almost there. The last one. Here we go. Okay, so this should take care of our connectivity. And now I'm going to create uh, the GRE tunnel between router Talit and router Marvin. So I'm going to use tunnel 1, and the source will be my own IP address destination the IP address of the other side and we need to make sure that there is an IP address on the tunnel as well and I'm going to use the 24 subnet for this here we go tunnel source tunnel destination There we go. Okay, so you can see that the tunnel is now up. You can also see that there is an OSPF adjacency on the tunnel interface. Uh, that's something you have to be aware of um, if you're going to do routing on tunnel interfaces, that you don't get any recursive routing issues. Uh, and just to make sure, I'm going to increase the cost of the GRE tunnel. And with a bit of luck, my connectivity should be okay. Okay, so as you can see, I can ping the loopback of router Finn. So router Finn has 5555, Kenton has 1111, and they can reach each other. Okay, so that's the GRE part. Uh, the next step is to make sure that traffic from the loopback interfaces uh, is sent through the GRE tunnel. And if you do a show IP route, you can see the tunnel interface over here. It's directly connected, but traffic to, uh, to the loopback is going through the fast Ethernet interface. So I'm just going to create a static route here. And <coughs> what I'm going to do is say IP route, just this IP address and send it through the tunnel interface. On this route I need to do the same thing, but for the other loopback. There we go. And if we do a show IP route, you can see it right here. The static route directly connected and the tunnel interface. So as you can see it's still working. Okay, so this should be all good. Show IP route. And you can see that it's using the tunnel interface now. Alright, so far so good. And the next step is that we are going to configure a service policy on router tellets and then the fast Ethernet 1 slash 0 interface. So that's the link between Talit and Ricky. And I want to make sure that ICMP traffic gets 64 kilobytes of priority. So let me create the correct class map. 
So I'm going to do this the easy way, match protocol ICMP, create a policy map, and I'm going to call it priority, refer to the class map, priority 64, and then we need to activate it on the interface, uh, service policy output priority, Alright, so the policy is now active, so class map ICMP, and you can see zero packets. Now let's see what will happen. So if I'm going to send a couple of pings here, you can see that there are no matches here on this class map, but everything matches on the default class. And that's because even though my uh, class map is okay. The packets are encapsulated and they are inside the GRE tunnel. So my router only sees the header of the GRE tunnel and not the ICMP, uh, the, the, the IP packet with the ICMP in it. Um, so what are we going to do? We can fix this by using pre-classify. So I'm going to the tunnel interface and there I will say QoS pre-classify. And if everything goes okay, my router should now be able to look inside the GRE tunnel and then we should see some matches on this class map. So let me send a couple of pings here. And it seems that it's not working. I'm still seeing the matches here on the default class. So it's not working, but there's one thing I want to try, because in this example I used nbar, and I think there might be a difference if I would use an access list here. So let's do a conf t class map icmp, no match protocol icmp, match access group 1. Uh, or let's use an extended access list. Match access group 100. Permit ICMP from host 1111 going to host 5555. So that's as specific as I can be here. And it seems to be working, because now you can see the matches over here. So it's matching my ICMP traffic. And let's make sure that, let me get rid of this command. No QoS pre-classify, and see if it makes any difference. There we go. So I'm just sending a lot of pings. And you can see that without the QoS pre-classify, it's matching on my class default. Because the router is not able to see uh, what's inside the GRE tunnel. And as soon as I enable it, you can see the uh, packets are now matching the ICMP class. So that's the difference uh, of using QoS pre-classify. Alright, so that's all good. Uh, one more step because, um, okay, so keep in mind the first uh, time I tried NBAR, and NBAR seemed to be not working. So the access list is working, so that's a better idea. And I want to make sure that I copy this on this router as well. Because in the lab I said to do it on both routers. Let's create the access list again, permit from this host going to this host. And I need to enable it on this interface. So let's try it again. Ping 1111 from my loopback 
and now we can see it's hitting the class default now I'm doing pre-classify so you can note that there are no packets on the ICMP class map at this moment and now you can see it's matching the class map over here alright so I think that's the end of this lab yep that's it so this is how you can use QoS pre classify um, another method let's say you have a GRE tunnel and you want to make sure that your QoS is working your router will by default always um, copy the TOS byte from the incoming IP packets and it will copy it to the header of the GRE tunnel so in this case I got a service policy on the physical interface but you can also just make sure that your IP packets are marked with the correct TOS byte and your router will automatically copy the TOS byte to the GRE header. Anyway, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.